What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today I am talking about expressions in Microsoft Flow. So what are expressions in Microsoft Flow? I hear you all cry through this video. Well, let's take a look at them. Now, in one of the last videos, we talked about dynamic content, and as we click into any um, action field um, in a in a Microsoft Flow, we get this dynamic content um, pane on the right. But what we didn't cover in the other video was that there are two tabs. There is dynamic content and there are expressions. So expressions are functions or formulae that allow you to do um, different things inside Microsoft Flow. So these will be familiar for a lot of people that have ever written any sort of code. Um, or any done or done any sort of formulae before that kind of has a logical um, expression or a map expression. Think about like things like Excel or JavaScript and things like that. These are expressions that you can use in Microsoft Flow to do things. These could be um, as simple as well, this first one is concat. So this, um, as we can kind of see the description below, um, allows you to combine any number of strings together into a single string. So as you look at this, uh, this function, this expression here, we get the name of the expression, which is concat. Then it gives us a example of how this expression works. So text one, comma, text two, question mark, comma, uh, dot, 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 meaning that you can add together multiple different text fields to give you a, uh, a, a string that is concatenated together. Let's take a look at how this works. So if I click uh, concat here, we can see in this little formula window up here, we get a concat expression, and then I can add content into here. So I could add something like, um, just like hello, um, and then add a comma, uh, and it's kind of giving me a little tool tip here to say that I can add two or more together, which is not very help helpful at this point. Um, yeah, I can add uh, two more things together. But what this allows me to do is I can then go back and get that dynamic content and bring it into this uh, this window here. So I can click on dynamic content and I can go down here and I can click name. So we see it adds in this trigger body and all this detail here. But this is just that dynamic content from down here and we now have um, this, this hello um, trigger body content here. So, so if I click OK to this, uh, and by this expression, that's because I don't have quotation marks around the text field. So let's add this in. Good. So as you can see, there's, some, there's forms of validation on here as well. Now, hopefully, if I click OK now, it does allow me to put it in. And we can see um, this dynamic content. So there is some level of validation on here, which is kind of shown from the uh, error message we got. This allows you to um, do formula and do expressions inside dynamic flow to show something. So I'm just going to um, show you a couple more expressions down here just to kind of um, allow you to understand what these are. So we showed you contact, contact, um, we have length where it will uh, return a number um, based on the, the length of a uh, string maybe that you're importing. String is just being a, a, a text field in its basic terms. Uh, we have the ability for logical functions, things like if and or not. Um, we have uh, conversion functions into things like JSON and XML and making things um, integers or making things strings and things like that. Um, we have some math functions. So these might be kind of very similar to things that you may have done in Excel in the past uh, or any sort of programming language that you've done in the past. Um, here's another good one, UTC now. So this allows you to return the timestamp of um, the, uh, the time at the time this flow runs in UTC. So if I click that, UTC now, and we can literally just click OK. And what that'll do is that'll just return a value of what the UTC um, time is at this point in time. 
but there are loads of different expressions in here um, that you can run through and you can use that'll help hopefully help you do a lot of complex um, functionality inside of Microsoft Flow. Um, you can also just start tapping into this box and you can see um, a bunch of different ones in here. So we've got like convert from UTC, convert to UTC contains, things like that. And you can create a formula in here as well as passing in dynamic content into that formula. So let's take a look at what this looks like. Hit save and we'll click on the test button. Um, we'll run the test from the previous test. Uh, and we can see that the uh, it's going off, it's finding that tweet. It says it's run successfully. That's all good with green ticks here. And um, we can open this up. And this is what we're getting in the email. So we have contacted hello with Matt Collins Jones. So that's the dynamic content from the, uh, from the Twitter account, as well as that hello, that string that I added in. There's no space and all Concat does is just merge those two together. Let's have a look at that in an email. So this is the email that was sent. Um, these are the details and here are these two expressions. So this expression here is that UTC now saying it is currently uh, 2044. You can probably see from my time down here, it's actually 2144. That's because I'm currently in British summertime and not in um, UTC. UTC being an hour behind, being this 2044 uh, at the moment. Um, and then this cap, this concat running, um, adding together a string and then the dynamic content that we pulled through from Twitter. I hope that makes a lot of sense. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, let me know. If you have favorite expression that you use all the time, let me know, I want to hear from you. Uh, put that in the comments down below. If you like this video, please like and please uh, subscribe to my channel. Ciao for now.